Thank you for choosing Linus. We strongly recommend you have your bicycle assembled by a professional mechanic. If you prefer to do it yourself, always have a mechanic inspect your bike before riding. Should you have any questions about the assembly process please contact Linus Customer Service. We're happy to walk you through it. Now, welcome to the Roadster Classic Assembly video. Carefully remove the box staples with a screwdriver. Do your best to preserve the box. Though unlikely, you may need it for return shipping, or a warranty claim. Inside you'll find some loose parts, and a smaller inner box. Before starting assembly check the contents of the inner box. You'll find an owner's manual, pedals, a front reflector, a rear reflector and in some cases touch up paint. You'll also find a toolbox with a 15mm box wrench, grease and applicator. And a 6, 5 and 4mm Allen wrench. Clip the zip ties to remove the packaging. Pay attention to avoid contact with the frame, or you could scratch the paint. If you are assembling your bike on a hard surface, we recommend not removing the protective covering from the fork, until you are ready to insert the wheel. Prepare the wheel by loosening both axle nuts, about one half inch. Remove the plastic fork protector. Pay special attention that both sides of the axle are resting firmly against the fork end and that the wheel is centered between the fork blades. Finger tighten both axle nuts as far as you can. You can now drop the kickstand. The bike is stable. With the closed end of a 15mm wrench, firmly tighten both nuts. Use enough force that the wrench leaves an impression on your hand. With a 6mm Allen wrench, loosen the bolt at the top of the handlebar stem. This will allow you to remove the plastic cap at the bottom of the stem. Apply grease to the bottom of the stem. Insert the handlebar stem into the frame. For your safety, it is important that the stem is inserted past the insertion line. Do not fully tighten the stem bolt at this time. You'll still need to fine-tune the steering alignment. With a 6mm Allen wrench, loosen the clamp bolt on the underside of the stem. Rotate the handlebar so the grips are level to the ground. Lock down the bolt clamp with enough force that the wrench leaves an impression on your hand. Standing over the front wheel, align the stem so it is centered over the tire. Now firmly lock down the stem bolt. Apply grease to the bottom third of the seat post. Insert the seat post into the frame. Always insert the seat post past the minimum insertion line. Align the seat so it is centered over the bike. Loosely tighten the seat clamp bolt with a 5mm Allen wrench. You will have to adjust the saddle height at a later point. There is a right pedal, and a left pedal. You must insert the correct pedal into the correct crank arm. Failing to do so will cause permanent damage to the crank arm. Identify the pedal by either an R for right, or an L for left, by a sticker, or a letter stamp, on either end of the spindle. Apply grease to the thread. Insert the pedal marked right, into the right side crank arm. Seat the pedal into the crank threads by rotating the spindle clockwise. Then, with the open end of a 15mm box wrench, tighten with enough force that the wrench leaves an impression on your hand. For the left pedal, rotate the spindle counterclockwise. The recommended tire pressure is indicated on the side of the tire wall. Remove the valve cap and attach the pump.
Next, set the seat height to just below your hip and firmly tighten the bolt. Perform a basic safety check before you ride. Make sure that the wheels spin freely and that the coaster brake works as designed. Secure the front wheel with your legs and attempt to rotate the handlebar. The handlebar should not rotate independently of the front wheel. Apply rotational force the saddle. It should not rotate independently of the frame. Finally, lift the bike about 12 inches of the ground. Let it drop to ensure there are no loose parts.